You have the choice of flying from A to B, but you can't decide which airline to choose. Should you opt for a regular airline or a budget airline? Budget airlines are famous for their rock-bottom fares, but what do you actually get for your money? Are the savings truly worth it when compared to regular airlines? Today, we'll break down the costs and experience of flying budget versus regular, giving you a clearer picture of whether those low prices are really worth the trade-offs. Let's start with a practical comparison. Imagine you're flying from London to Barcelona, a popular short-haul route. You have two options, a budget airline offering a fare of £40 and a regular airline with a ticket price of £100. At first glance, the budget option looks like a clear winner, but let's dig a bit deeper. On the budget airline, that £40 fare is for the most basic seat. It includes only your seat and one small carry-on bag that fits under the seat in front of you. Need to bring more than just a small bag? Adding a check suitcase will cost you an extra £25 each way. So that's an addition of £50 for a round trip. Want to choose your seat in advance so you can sit with a companion or avoid the middle seat? That's another £10. If you are hungry during the flight, a simple sandwich and a drink could set you back another £10. Now let's tally up the costs. The base fare, £40, plus hold luggage, £50, seat selection, £10, and a snack, £10, bring the total to £110. Suddenly that bargain fare is more expensive than the £100 you'd pay with the regular airline. What about the regular airline? For £100 you'll get a seat with more legroom, a standard carry-on bag, and one check suitcase included in the price. You might also be able to select your seat when you book, ensuring you get the spot you want. Although some regular carriers charge for this too, unless you're in the right tier of their frequent flyer program. During the flight might be offered complimentary refreshments and depending on the carrier and the length of the journey, you may be able to request additional refreshments. But the comparison isn't just about money. Convenience plays a big role too. Regular airlines often operate from major airports with better public transport links, while budget airlines sometimes use smaller airports further away from the cities. This could mean longer travel times and additional transport costs to reach your destination. The regular airline also likely offers more flight times, giving you greater flexibility if you need to change your plans. Customer service is another consideration. If your flight is delayed or cancelled, or if you encounter any other issues, regular airlines typically have more robust customer support to help you out. Budget airlines, on the other hand, may have limited staff and fewer resources to assist you, leading to more stress and hassle if something goes wrong. Now, let's consider the positives of budget airlines. If you're a light packer, don't mind where you sit, and can manage with just a small carry-on, budget airlines can still offer excellent value. For a quick, no-frills trip, where your main priority is getting from point A to point B as cheaply as possible, the savings can be substantial, especially if you book early and avoid the extra fees. In conclusion, whether budget air travel is worth it depends on your priorities. If you're looking for the lowest possible fare and are willing to forego some comforts and conveniences, Budget airlines can save you money. However, if you prefer a more comfortable, hassle-free experience and want to avoid hidden fees, a regular airline might be the better choice. Before booking, it's important to do the maths. Compare the total cost of your trip, including any additional fees, to see if the savings are really there. Consider your own needs and preferences and choose the option that best fits your travel style.